Hello, my friends! This is the video that I made on Palantir on uh, April 17th, when the price of this asset was at $21.88. And my main assumption was that we have to land a bit lower in the golden pocket range, uh, in the range uh, in between $19.84 and $20.22. Then we might have a trend reversal, and this uh, could be your accumulation point. And here is uh, the actual price action of this asset. As you can see, we were at this uh, point. And uh, here you can see that we hit uh, this uh, range of golden pocket at $20.22 uh, to the tick and had a very good bounce. So guys, definitely it is not a coincidence. It is a pure technical analysis. And uh, I have to say that uh, I've been covering this asset uh, for quite some time and I caught a lot of movements of this asset. And if you want to know more about technical analysis, if you want to enhance your trading skills, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to join my Patreon account, where for the $35 a month you will be able to drastically enhance your trading skills. On top of that, guys, for the first 100 subscribers I will do a giveaway. I will do a technical analysis uh, based on your request on any asset that you might find. On top of that, guys, it is, and it is the most lucrative offer. For now, there is not so many people inside the community. That is why almost 100% of my time will be dedicated to you. This means uh, you will have pretty much one-on-one -on -one training for the price of $450 a month for the fraction of this cost, for just $35 a month. And I think uh, it is quite a fair deal. So, and let's continue with the news. What might be the news that uh, can drive the price of this asset uh, in either direction? Definitely, it is their upcoming earnings report that will take place uh, in one week on May the 6th of this year. And uh, as you can see, the estimations are following. Uh, earnings per share at the level of uh, $0.077 and the revenue at about uh, $615.301 million. I have to say that uh, a lot of uh, previous earnings uh, reports uh, were positive. They beat uh, expectations. They beat uh, both earnings per share and uh, the revenue. And definitely, I have to say that for now, Palantir is a quite interesting company because it is uh, consistently growing its user base. And despite this fact, uh, if you take a look on the uh, consensus analyst price target uh, that uh, you can find, for example, on market bit, you can see that. Uh, uh, it is at the range of $18.35, which implies about 18.5% of downside potential. And guys, let me show you quite interesting detail. Monas, Crespi and Hart uh, upgraded uh, their price target on April 26, just uh, three days ago. And uh, they didn't uh, specify the price target, but uh, they changed the rating from sell to neutral. And uh, if you take a look uh, on my previous video, you will find that uh, this asset, uh, and let me show you it right here, somewhere at this point, uh, wait a second, here. You can see that uh, on March 28th, uh, they did completely opposite movement. They downgraded uh, from uh, neutral to sell and they set a price target of $20. And for now, they did completely opposite. And how in the world it is possible that one company within uh, one month uh, changed their decision twice without any major updates uh, from uh, the uh, underlying asset? It doesn't make sense. This means, guys, you shouldn't rely for 100% on this price target. You have to keep this in mind, but you have to do your own due diligence. Uh, on top of that, uh, quite similar price target uh, you can find on tpranks.com. It is at the level of $19.67 which implies about 12.66% of downside potential. And we have uh, the lowest uh, price target for Palantir at the level of $5, average, as I already mentioned, at 19.67, and the highest price target at $35. And in general, you can see that only two analysts suggest to buy, five uh, analysts suggest to hold this stock, and six analysts suggest to sell. And uh, let me show you that... Uh, in order to properly find the necessary information, you can use uh, the people who are consistently uh, posting uh, new updates in regards to certain assets. And definitely one of them is Arnie Trezzi. You can uh, find uh, his Twitter account uh, uh, at uh, Arnie underscore Trezzi. And uh, I want to pay attention uh, on just a couple of uh, tweets. 
On April 25th, uh, he uh, posted this tweet. Palantir shocks the NHS, ex-lead data architect. Why have we spent so much for Palantir tech? We spent many times as much trying to build FDB5X in the last uh, 20 years. Take my money now. And he added this uh, screenshot of the tweet that was made by John Smith. And let me quote to this. Amazing session uh, at uh, Tech UK regarding the future of uh, data in the NHS. I'm totally and utterly sold uh, on FDP now that I have a much better understanding on what it is, what uh, it isn't and what it will do for us all. My main takeaway, why have we spent so much on buying it from Palantir Technologies? Because we've spent many times as much trying to build it five times uh, in the last 20 years. And I'd know because I was there for three of them. Also, automated DPIAs uh, take my money now. Happy to discuss. And guys, this opinion is uh, very important because it shows how useful uh, Palantir uh, might be for its customers. And uh, that is why all of the uh, customers, almost all of them, are the loyal customers of Palantir Technologies. On top of that, guys, let me show you another tweet that shows uh, uh, its uh, potential for upcoming years. So, Palantir strikes a multi-year deal with uh, Paracel for clinical trial AI. The software has saved uh, 6 to 7 hours per subject matter expert uh, for each study design and has reduced the time to data delivery by 50%. And uh, let me show you that uh, Paracel is one of the world's largest clinical research organizations. It has uh, more than uh, 21,000 global professionals. And uh, these type of contracts uh, are extremely beneficial for Palantir Technologies. And that is why, guys, despite all the downgrades, uh, all the price targets from analysts, Almost all of them are consistently buying. Take a look right here. We are on the list of institutional investors on Palantir. And first of all, I want to show you this chart again. This is the institutional ownership of Palantir Technologies. And uh, as you can see, the most, the last uh, bar is showing us uh, the level of this institutional ownership in Palantir in March. And uh, we have the highest level of uh, this uh, ownership. This means the sentiment is quite bullish on Palantir. More and more institutional investors are buying this stock. On top of that, guys, so let me show you uh, the most recent activity on uh, Palantir's stock uh, according to this list. As you can see, only one company sold 100% uh, of their shares. But guys, if you click right here, you can see that this company had only one share of Palantir Technologies and they sold it. And they basically they have to file this red line in these uh, books. On top of that, if you take a look on the general sentiment, you can see that the sentiment is uh, cautiously bullish. But if you take a look on the list of major institutional investors in Palantir, you can see that, for example, Vanguard Group uh, back in March, on March 11th, uh, filed uh, this uh, update and they added 3.45% uh, uh, to its position and its position became 3.327 billion dollars. On top of that, uh, you can see that uh, other top five companies also hold their position quite strong. They just rebalanced it a little bit. But in general, uh, top five companies uh, hold uh, at least uh, 370 million dollars in Palantir. And uh, this is also a very good sign that uh, a lot of institutional investors, major institutional investors, added to its position uh, at the uh, fourth quarter of last year. And we have to uh, remember that these dates are not the deal execution dates. It is just a filing date and the real deals uh, happened uh, at least 45 days prior. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, as you can see, we have a perfect bounce out of the golden pocket range and potentially this might be the beginning of new uptrend. And if you entered your position right here, you can easily uh, put your stop loss on a green territory. This means you will be able to uh, uh, be profitable no matter what and you will be able to catch its next uh, potential leg to the upside if uh, my assumption is correct and if we are at the very beginning of the third wave uh, of uh, internal third wave uh, on a bigger scale of uh, this asset. And that is why, guys, 
Just follow my channel, subscribe uh, and uh, drop me a line in the comment section if you think this video is valuable for you. And I will do another update within the next uh, couple of weeks. So, see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this.